Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're back in Vault Hunters, and I quickly just want to say I do apologize if I sound unwell. I am. I am currently really ill, but I can't not upload a video. So let's jump to the first thing I want to do, and that is run a vault to finally reach level 10. I haven't really done much work off camera due to me being so ill. I hope everyone had a wonderful New Year's. It is now 2023, and hopefully there's a lot more to come from my channel in this year. So let's jump into the first vault. This is an actual crystal, so it's not going to be the rubbish loot. I do not want to lose them inside of a vault, and then we don't have the villagers, because I do also have a plan to set up something using the villagers in later on in the video I thought I would just show this room because I don't know if this is an Omega room this time around. It's a village room with the cactus with the mumbo moustache. I don't know if this is the like an Omega room this time around. I think last time it was maybe Epic or Omega. It is absolutely filled with TNT still, so that's something we're going to have to be careful of. Oh, that scared the life out of me. There are also a load of Gilded Chests, which I am definitely looting because they could have some good loot in them. I broke the spawner inside of this little, uh, the cactus. And let's now quickly just get rid of all of these mobs so I can then hopefully jump in there. Uh, what is that hitting me? Okay. I have no clue if there's anything up inside of them. Let's maybe just dash up and check. I just don't want there to be, yeah, like spawners or something. And then we get wrecked by mobs. Don't look like there is. That's TNT. Is there anything inside of the brain? Uh, let's maybe just use the vein miner for this. I don't think there is, but it's worth having a check. There's a sign and a chest. What does the sign say? It says, tearing apart a heart, you monster. Oh, it's a heart. I thought it was a brain. And just like I said, luckily I didn't dash up to that room because there is a spawner up in this one, which does have two gilded chests. So one thing I could do is maybe just do something like that, which then means that I should be able to get to that without having... Okay, no, you've got an arrow. You've got bow and arrow. You have to die because you could have done some real damage. Let's quickly just get rid of you. Any more loot back there? There isn't. So it's now just maybe possibly up. There might be a little bit more. Oh, no. There is another bow and arrow dude. Uh, no, there's no more actual loot up here. So I guess let's just mine our way out from up here then. And just like that, with a minute remaining, I think we're going to leave now. Just because I don't want to risk staying in any longer than getting lost and dying. Have we got anything we haven't? So let's quickly exit. And that should now be us on level 10. It is. Okay, so we have made it to level 10. 
which is incredible. So that means now I think Volt Orbs are more common inside of Volts, and we do also have four skill points to spend. But before we do that, let's quickly just place down all these shulker boxes. So here is everything that I think is worth. In that Volt, we got some more Neverwhite Scrap, which I can throw in. I can't actually throw in there. Let's actually throw that into there, and I can throw that in to Smelt. Let's also throw the Copper in with that one. We actually have 60 Copper now. That's pretty good and then let's quickly roll the mystery boxes so that's let's actually take off the magnets so we can actually see what we get on the floor Lavimar, uh what is that that is bomb ignite that's actually an omega ore i think what is that um okay is that an omega ore again i think it is i'm not 100 sure though then we got some gold some iron that's an omega ore which i think we do already have some of Yep, we do. So let's put that in there. I don't know if that is an Omega War, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. We got some of them in the iron and the gold don't go in there. Then we have two more. Okay, that's another Omega War. And then some iron again. Now we have the Relic Booster Packs, which we can quickly just roll. And we seem to have got two Relics. We got the Dragon Breath and also the Spirit Element. Okay, that's kind of cool. We can put them up there with them two, or them, what, five? They're all in different sets as far as I know, yeah. Uh, wait, no. Them two are in the same set, so that's two for that set, and all these three are in different sets. Okay, that's totally fine. Let's now quickly just throw all this away, because I now want to make another crystal to see what we get on this, as I would love to run a scavenger vault. So let's quickly just make up a new crystal, because we don't have any left, and throw that into there. Five gravel, I think we can do the gravel. Uh, do we have any gravel in here? We do, five, exactly. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, one gold, we can definitely do that. There we go. Then, free salmon. Does that have to be salmon? It seems like it does. That's kind of maybe annoying, because I don't think we have any salmon. I think we have everything but. They are... Okay, so they are what? Four armor. Uh, they're better in armor. They're five armor plus two armor. So that's what? Six, seven armor. I think they're better than what we have. So let's actually change them for that and they can go into there as obviously some spare. Maybe we can scrap them at a later point. So I have built the outline of the island as you can see right here. This one is a different shape to the others. I think it might be a bit too competitive if every single island is the same shape and size. So I've tried to make this one a bit... They're all going to be circular because I think any other shape they might look weird. But maybe I might experiment with maybe a square or something later on. Or maybe like a shape that isn't really a shape. But I think for now just keeping them all circular is the best thing. Well thanks to our actual mob farm. We can actually create a lot of wool. Because it obviously does farm spiders. And another thing that I am going to quickly mention. If you are wondering what these blocks are. They're rotten flesh blocks. They are actually compressed rotten flesh. So as you can see it's 9 rotten flesh in one block. Same with these, these are compressed gunpowder, it's just a lot better because then we don't have to have stacks and stacks of rotten flesh and gunpowder, you can't do it with arrows and neither can you do it with bones, I could turn this into bone meal and then do it but then if we ever need bones for the altar, they're gone, so I have done it with the blocks that I can, giving us a bit more space inside of here. I currently have some cobblestone smelting into stone so we can make some stone bricks for a actual recipe. But before we do that, let's quickly spend our skill points. So let's go here. Do I wanted to upgrade Vein Miner by one? Because then that makes it so we can mine eight blocks instead of four, which I think is going to be a lot better. Then maybe dash that. What does that do? It changes the cooldown from 12 seconds to 11. Mana cost goes doesn't change and the distance goes from three to four. Uh, I don't actually think I want to do that. Let's quickly check here because I would really like to get speed. That's something I want because then that makes us a little bit faster. Haste. Okay, we can't get none of them. There will two. We can get that, but I don't think that's going to be useful. We can unlock experience, which I actually think I want to do because getting XP is quite good, especially for enchanting, trying to get silk touch, or even actually trying to get the, uh, what they called, XP altars inside a vault. So let's now place down a lot of these beds. 
so obviously the villagers have the beds to breed so now if i put the two villagers here let's maybe throw them some bread uh we actually picked that up because we have the magnet on let's throw them some bread oh are you kidding me you have got to be kidding me he literally i didn't oh okay i can see why so we have to remove that bed that bed that bed and also that one Ah, uh, you have got to be kidding me. He literally just walked straight off the edge. I think that one also has to go, and so does that one. Yikes. So, it looks like we can't actually breed villagers just yet. We now have to go into vaults again to try and find another villager. We need salmon for the actual altar for our next crystal. And as you can see, we have the actual skyblock behind us. And in front of us, we have land. Now, that's not actually meant to be there. That's a bug, I think, within the first, like, four updates, or maybe three. And that is now fixed, but it will still be there due to it being loaded. And we now have to basically just reset chunks to get rid of it. But the reason I'm actually building out this far is for a river which as you can see there is a river over there as salmons on java edition at least spawn in frozen oceans deep frozen oceans frozen rivers and rivers also building to the dark oak forest is going to be good because or even here we're in a birch forest apparently how big is this birch forest then Okay, it goes on for quite a while. The reason that birch forest is going to be good is for passive mobs. So, okay, here's a beach and then it goes to ocean again. Let me quickly show you if you have come across this bug, because obviously it's not a good thing. If you now actually make your skyblock in an updated version, I think that is fixed. But it's good, maybe, if you want to maybe just sneak over there to grab some resources. I'm going to keep it completely to the skyblock and I'm going to reset these chunks. So, as you can see, this is our skyblock world. You can see the actual things we have built right here. We've got the main island, and some blocks are missing because obviously it's modded and they don't show up on this. This is a vanilla tool. It's actually MCA select. And you can also see our actual farm right there. Then our villager, breeder, our also mob farm, and our nether island. But as you can see on the outskirts, there is quite a lot of land and what we want to do is we want to left click and drag till this orange bar shows. I am also just going to do a little bit more on the outsides just so we know we get rid of any other land that's loaded. So I'm actually just going to do like a whole region around. Let's quickly maybe do that. That should definitely be enough. And then basically what we want to do is go to tools and we basically or is it select yeah it's selection and then delete selected chunks are you sure okay and it will now basically delete these chunks they wouldn't have actually been deleted because i was still in the world so they would have instantly been loaded again i have now left the world meaning that i should be able to delete them again i want to make sure i don't actually circle our island there so there we go i've deleted everything around our actual main center island and now once again we should be able to go here and delete selected chunks again and now as you can see they have been deleted so if we load up the world again these should be gone if you want to know how to open up your world all you really need to do is go to file up here and then click open region and then if you want to open the overworld it is literally just a region folder if you want to open up never then it's dim minus one and the end is dim one and as you can see we are now back on the world and in that direction it is now once again a complete void which means we can no longer cheat and it should be like that in every direction now maybe if we go like thousands of blocks out maybe chunks might be loaded in real land again but at least the area around us at least as far as i think we'll build out should be complete void if my calculations are correct i don't think passive mobs have a height limit on them because currently we are at 135 i think they should be able to spawn on that island i'm not 100 percent sure though maybe if i make it bigger it might increase the chances but that is within a birch forest so in theory that should work let's quickly just turn our magnet off so that doesn't actually pick up any items from this farm let's also quickly just head back because i do want to make some more jars so we can obviously pick up animals because i would really like sheeps chickens no we have chickens sheeps cows and pigs at least i've made the dirt platform a little bit bigger and i think now if we head back maybe it's because it's dirt and not grass i don't think that matters with passive entities 
but I that's the only thing I can think of of why it's actually not spawning anything. Okay, it don't look like I'm gonna be able to get this working today. If anyone knows why nothing's spawning in that on that platform, then de okay, hostile mobs have spawned, so it definitely is like a spawning area. Just no passive mobs are spawning, which I think is really weird because they definitely should be able to. It's a birch forest unless passive mob spawning has been disabled inside a sky block. I don't think it would have, but maybe it has just so getting resources like that is not like way too easy. I'm not 100% sure. So if you guys do know, then let me know in the comments. But anyway, that is where I'm going to end this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.